Welcome to day one of chair yoga for full body release. Please find a comfortable chair, ideally one that is not on wheels and doesn't have armrests. If you're short like myself, come a little bit forward to the edge so that you're able to feel your feet on the earth. We want a little sense of grounding to begin so that your feet rest, maybe your hands settle onto the lap, wherever feels comfortable. Feel your sits bones into the chair and then allow yourself to lift up out. So feel that heart extend from the base of the spine all the way up, crown of the head. Maybe loop the shoulders back as you settle the shoulders down. I usually give a little wiggle with my head and neck just to create a little bit more space. And then let your eyes softly close. Notice and feel this connection to the floor and the seat. Feel the length of the upper body. Feel the surrender of our legs and arms. And then find a little bit of softness through the face. So relax the jaw. If it feels comfortable to have the eyes closed, feel that space where the upper eyelid meets the lower eyelid. And then start to simply deepen the breath. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And a deep breath out through the mouth. Again, big breath in. And big breath out. Good, one more just like this. back to the breath that serves you, allowing it to be as full and as deep, but finding a little bit of softness and ease within. So not forcing it, not pushing it, just letting it flow naturally. Good. Begin to softly open your eyes, adjusting to the light. Good. If you're not already at the edge of the seat, come on forward to meet me. From here, let's go ahead and soften through our neck and shoulders. So as we inhale again, press into the sitting bones, push into the feet, lift up through the crown. And as we exhale, start to tuck the chin, lower the forehead. Good. Begin to inhale, sliding that right ear towards the right shoulder. And as we exhale, tuck the chin, lower the forehead, and roll the left ear towards the left shoulder. Let's do one more each side. Gently rolling a half circle to the right. And then gently rolling your half circle back to the left. As we exhale, tuck the chin and come on back down through center. As we inhale, start to lift the gaze. Good, start to draw it up towards the sky, lifting the chin, and then softly tucking the chin and lowering the forehead. Good, let's do two more of these. Nice, easy, and slow. Try not to let the head drop all the way back, but keep it lengthening and reaching. So the crown of your head, maybe towards where a high pony or your yarmulke might sit, would reach up and back. Good, and then come on back down, tucking and lowering. Inhale, come on back up to neutral, so that underside of your chin sort of parallel to the floor. Good, go ahead and turn your gaze to the right, and back through center and over to the left. Good, try and keep that chin parallel, so if you might notice, I'm not lifting or lowering. Good, let's do a few more. You might be aware that the neck will start to soften and release as it sort of adjusts to the movement. Keep the breath flowing nice and fluidly. Good. 
and then come on back through center. Good. All right, let's find some movement into the shoulders. So go ahead, draw the shoulders up around the ears and then roll them forward, inhaling them up and exhaling them forward. Good. Awesome. A couple more in this direction, large or small, whatever feels good. All right, and then switch the rotation. So exhaling them back, inhaling them up. All right, and then once you're complete, let's roll those shoulders down your back. Feel your heart lift and the collarbones broaden, so roll those shoulders back behind you slightly. Good, again, feel into that long spine, press into the seat, lift up through the crown of the head. Good, take a big breath in, and a full breath out. Good, on your next inhale, draw the shoulders up around the ears. Hold at the top just for a millisecond and then exhale. <sighs> Drop the shoulders, exhale, open mouth. Good, three more, inhale. Squeeze, hold, and then exhale. <sighs> Drop, good, two more. <sighs> good, last one, let that load release. And exhale. <sighs> Good. Give a little wiggle, a little shake. Good. Let your hands start to draw back behind you. Maybe grab a hold of the seat. I have little um, rails here of the chair. I'm going to grab a hold of here. From here, go ahead and loop those shoulders back. Again, press the feet, push into the sitting bones, lift the heart. Maybe look up just towards where the wall and the ceiling meet and then roll and draw those shoulders back behind you. So shine the heart forward. Good, nice chest opener, a little expansion. Your chest might be coming forward of your hips. Good, breathe here. One more. Good, and then begin to softly draw the shoulders to sack over hips, release the grip, let your hands come forward. Good, you can settle back a little bit in the chair if that makes you feel more comfortable. Awesome, from here, let's open our side body. So allowing your right hand to come down alongside the body. We're simply gonna lower those right tips towards the floor. Left hand might slide a little bit. Good, try and keep the head and neck in line. Good. Begin to press into the sitting bones, extend through the crown, come on back up through center, and then switching sides, left arm dangles. Let that left arm lower, lean. Good, gaze still forward, beautiful, and then come on back up. Good, over to the right. Exhale to release down. Inhale, come on back up through center. Exhale to the left. Good, come on back up. One more each side. Just starting to feel a little bit of length through that left side body, that left shoulder sort of lifting away from the hip, and then back through center, nice and neutral, and then leaning to the left, that right shoulder lifts away from the hip. And then back through center. Good, awesome. Finding a seated twist here. I'm gonna come a little bit further back. So my bum is back towards the edge of my seat where the edge of the seat and the back meet. From here, I'm gonna allow my right hand to again maybe find the back of the chair or you can find underneath the chair. Left hand is gonna find the outside of the right thigh. Because my feet don't quite touch, I'm a little bit up on the toes and that's okay. Inhale, lift the heart, extend through the crown, good. From here, we're gonna exhale from our navel, right rib, right shoulder, and maybe look back over that right shoulder. Take a breath in, and a full breath out. Good, as we inhale, press into the seat, lift up through the crown. As we exhale, come on back through center, good to the left, so left hand reaches back, finds the chair or your seat, right hand to the left thigh. Inhale, seat to crown. 
and then twisting from the navel, left rib, left shoulder, and maybe the gaze over the shoulder. Big breath in. And full breath out. Good. As we inhale, find the length, decompress the spine, and then exhale, come back through center. Good, after any little twist, I like to sort of shimmy and shake, release it a little bit. Beautiful, all right, come a little bit more forward, so coming back towards the edge of our chair. Let your feet again ground into the earth. We're gonna go ahead and interlace our fingers behind us. Good, so finding interlaced fingers, roll the shoulders and squeeze the elbows. Good. From here, as we inhale, again, find the length in the spine, press into the seat, lift up through the crown of the head. As we exhale, we're gonna hinge forward. Good, let the chest lead the way. Good, let the spine start to round, maybe even resting the belly on the thighs. Head can start to dangle. Keep those shoulders rolling back and elbows squeezing towards each other. Let's go ahead and shake the head no. And shake the head yes. Good, one more big full breath here. Nice decompression through the spine. So pressing into my feet, drawing my inner thighs towards each other. Start to extend through the crown. Start to lift the chest, lift the torso. Slowly guide your way back up, eventually finding shoulders over hips, elbows still squeezing towards each other. Good, take one big breath here. Good, start to release those interlaced fingers. Let the arms slowly release forward, especially if you're tight in the shoulders or chest. Give a little shimmy, a little shake, a little release. Good, and then when you're ready, we're gonna find our seated twist, but now with eagle legs. So crossing our right leg over the left, Again, I'm still on the edge of my seat here, so there's a little bit more space. It's gonna require a little bit more of a reach back, but left hand is gonna find the outside of the right thigh. Right hand, again, reaching for the back of the chair or your seat, whatever you can grab a hold of. Press into the sitting bones, lift up through the heart, extend through the crown. As we exhale, twisting from the navel, right rib, right shoulder, maybe this left hand presses a little bit into the thigh for a little bit of a deeper twist. Take a big breath in. And a full breath out. Good, as we inhale, extend up through the crown, long spine. As we exhale, come on back through center. Good, switch the legs, right comes off of the left. Cross the left over the right. Good, let that right hand find the outside of the left leg. Left hand grabs a hold of the seat or chair back behind you. Press into the sitting bones. Try and keep those hips square to the front. We're twisting from our belly button, so from the navel, left rib, left shoulder, reaching and looking back over that left shoulder. Again, this right hand might press into the outside of the left thigh or knee for a little bit of a deeper twist. Good, as we inhale, find the length, extend through the crown, and as we exhale, come on back through center. Good, release that left leg off of the right. Give a little swish or sway with your knees side to side. Good, all right. When you're ready, anchoring through the left foot, keep that left leg heavy. Start to pick up the right leg and we're gonna cross this right ankle over the left thigh. And it's all good if you have to use your hands to help sort of walk that leg up. There's lots of different ways to get it up and over. 
once you've got this right leg crossed over the left. If it's not an option to have the ankle over the thigh, again, you can always find cross-legged. And it might even be a little bit in between. So whatever works. But let's go ahead and circle this right ankle. Good. With that left hand that might be resting on the ankle, you might feel those little tendons rubbing around each other. Go ahead, switch directions. Good. Maybe even look at your foot moving in space, those toes maybe twinkling. Good. Getting acquainted with our body as it moves. And then when you're done, let it come to stillness. Flex through the heel. So press out through the heel, toes draw back. Let this right knee be heavy to the best of your ability. You don't have to force it or push it, but just acknowledge that we want it to be heavy and sort of externally rotating. Press into the sitting bones. Again, lift up, find that length, soften the shoulders, soften the neck and jaw. Stay up nice and tall, especially if this is enough, if you're already feeling quite a bit of sensation on that outer right hip. If you would like to come a little bit deeper, getting more into the outer right hip, start to hinge from the hips. Let the chest draw forward, long spine here, good. And I'm snuggling my bum back a little bit because I have a little bit of a rounded edge at the edge of my chair, so it doesn't feel so good on the sits bone. So make adjustments if needed. Each chair, each body is different. But come as far as you can comfortably. Good, you might be able to lay your chest across your shin. You might be a little bit more upright. You might be near me or a little ahead or lower. Good. Breathe into that outer right hip. Two more big full breaths. This is a great stretch for those of us that might be seated in our chair quite a bit throughout the day. But once you're complete, press into the floor with the left foot. Extend up out through the crown. Lift the chest. Slowly start to draw the torso back upright. Good. Relax that right foot. Let's go ahead. Take that right leg off of the left. Again, maybe a little windshield wiper. We're just sort of rocking from the inner blade to the outer blade of our feet. Knees swish swaying a little side to side. Good. And then come on back through center. Go ahead, pick up the left leg. Help it, assist it if you need to as you cross that left ankle over the right thigh or somewhere in between. You might be crossing knees, it's all good. But if you can, flex the foot, press out through the heel, toes draw towards the shin, so active foot. Let's go ahead and circle the ankle. Good, any little kinks and cracks, that's typically normal. Pain, not so much, so check in with your doctors if you need to. Good, but let's wake up that foot, switch directions if you haven't done so already. I typically do a few times. Good. And then once you're complete, again, movement comes to stillness, flex the foot, press out through the heel, toes draw back. Push into the seat, lift the heart, feel the sideways, feel the heart lift. Stack the spine, shoulders down the back. You can stay just like this, especially if you're encouraging this left knee to be heavy. This might be enough. And if so, stay. If you'd like to join me, again, keep the length. And as we exhale, hinge, drawing the heart forward, a little bit closer towards the shin. And you can be anywhere in between, resting the chest on the thighs or shin, or seated upright. Good. I like to tuck my chin a little bit so I'm not overlifting. Good. Big breath in and full breath out. One more. Beautiful. As we inhale, push into the right foot. Extend through the crown of the head, lift the chest, stack your shoulders, long spine. Good. Give a little wiggle, a little release. Maybe shake out that left ankle. And then using your hands, help release the left leg off of the right. 
good. Find a little windshield, find a little release. Maybe shake out your arms. Good, shimmy in the chest. Release any tensions you've been holding. Good, and then find your way back to that tall spine. Maybe both feet grounded, maybe coming all the way back, but try and keep the spine lifted. So even if you are all the way back, try not to lean back into the chair. Keep it upright. Roll the shoulders, lift the heart. Softly close your eyes. Come back to the body breathing. Notice if there's any lingering sensations from our practice. Good, relax the jaw even a little bit further. Notice how it drops a little bit. Good, again, take a deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, sigh. Again, big breath in. Full breath out. Last one. Good, soften into your natural breath here. No forcing or pushing, but inviting that deep breath. Begin to find your hands coming together at your heart center. Your palms can touch an Anjali Mudra, the sign of gratitude. The slight tuck of the chin and bow of the forehead. Keep the heart lifted, spine long. Thank you for joining me today here in your chair, and I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.